Yeah, hi everyone, Red Redfern here once again. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of June, and we are here in two parts to recap the uh, fantastic webinar on the round table that we experienced last night with Ash Mufara. So, what happened and what was said? Well, for a start, Ash came on. He was so excited. I have never seen this guy so excited about the updates he was about to give us. Very proud of the accomplishments uh, that we'd reached so far as founders and also the company itself. He's hunting for friends to find out for the next meal that he's going to be having over in the United States. So uh, anybody who gets invited to that, I know that you guys are going to be in a fantastic place as well uh, to have that. So one of the first updates that was given was actually from Susie McRae. And this is to do with the multiple accounts. There is no limit on giving any uh, the same number on these accounts. OK, you can have as many accounts as you like now with the same number uh, on the round table as well. If you were on it, you will also have heard uh, that uh, if you are in a region that only has eight or nine digits as far as your phone number is concerned, you can add in the country code, which is zero zero, then the number to make it between 10 and maximum of 15 numbers. Uh, the other updates as well was there is a new uh, video on the on passive official youtube channel for o mail it's also i know has been shared on many other channels as well go and have a look at it guys absolutely amazing what is coming our way and also ash did mention a bit about o mail as well later on in the uh updates which i'll cover in a bit so the first big news was there is uh the first on passive uh data center is going to be live today um there might be a bit of downtime uh at the beginning of it only for a couple of hours or so uh whilst this uh, information gets transferred over uh onto the new service it's going with multi-regional connectivity and gradually all of this is going to be migrated from the cloud first over to the multi-regions hosting uh architecture and from then on we uh, will have our very own data center with the whole of the OnPassive ecosystem, at digital products and services all in our own uh, center. This makes it very fluid uh, and a hybrid type of thing once we've got all this data into these multi-regions. And this will allow us to globally for the, for the be globally for those first products that we need uh, to uh bring to the public with no restrictions that is a massive thing guys and this is one of the reasons why we are doing it because we don't want to be beholden to any third parties for what we want to do with on passive so what is going to be happening through the next few weeks we already know that the time and date has been set for the end of the o founders position and through the next month, there's going to be more and more services that are going to be added onto this data center. Uh, everything is going to be hosted in-house. And we are going to be, like I said, a completely independent IT online business. This next generation data center will allow us uh, to go to the second and third phase of on passive. He also wanted to congratulate all of the founders that have stuck it out over the last nearly four years with his vision and been by his side all the way through with pos uh, with the positivity. This first, uh, obviously, uh, part is for the data center uh, for our ecosystem. Once we have this, then we'll start expanding out with the second data center, which is much, much bigger, etc. Obviously, uh, this won't affect us in the short term because uh, everything is going to be hosted on that one data center. So very exciting stuff as far as that is concerned. Like I said, we do not want to be beholden to any third parties to tell us what we can and cannot do as far as on passive is concerned. The other thing he said is that the new website is now done. 
If you log into onpassive.com, you'll see the new website. He actually said that he's even more excited about the new one that is going to be there next Monday. Uh, we've also got a new blog as well, which is there for everyone to see. This might not change every single time we get a website, but on this occasion it has. The new, uh, also, if you go into your back office, into the My Links section, you will see that there is a new link, link number 15. Uh, I hope that you like it as much as he does. I've had a look at it again, different colors, different formats and all the rest of it. It really is uh, stacking that call that he's been on to as well for such a long, long time. Uh, as he said as well, next week on Monday, there's a new one coming. He really does like this new one and he hopes that we will do as well. Um, what he said about the blogs as well within the new website, uh, there's going to be new blogs and formats coming, global leaders, uh, and there's going to be around about a thousand positions. He already has got secured a couple of dozen uh, of those global founders already that he knows about. Uh, will be given the ability to have their own blogs in the on passive, um ecosystem uh, this is going to be a huge benefit to the company and also to the leaders he's also going to whitelist some of the products and services so that the leaders can use them under their own name so that is a really big incentive for many people uh, out there to reach that pinnacle of global leader for the benefits that it has for having that position uh, the NDA talked a little bit about the NDA and about the signature. If you remember back to last Monday, he was saying uh, that the company will be contacting uh, those founders whose NDAs aren't good enough. Uh, this is going to start tomorrow, he believes. And this is when that's going to start taking place. So if you do receive an email uh, or when you log into your uh, account and the NDA pops up, please go ahead and sign it. And then you all know it is good to go. If you do not hear from the company, then the NDA is absolutely fine. You do not have to do anything more than that. As I said, the number field has now got no restrictions. So you can use the same number as well for every single one of your accounts, which is a big relief to a lot of founders who have multiple accounts. Uh, this will make life a lot easier for them. He also said that the new admin panel for O Founders is now ready uh, and there's going to be uh, a lot more features within this new one. OK, uh, it's going to be more flexible for usage uh, and really has taken a lot of meticulous time to put this uh, together. It's now the 10th edition of the uh, O Founders platform and or the uh, the uh, admin panel for it so again all the time stacking that call going above and beyond what is expected of a company for us of the founders uh he's also had uh a little um we also had a little glimpse of the data center and what it's starting to look like uh last week and this week he had a backdrop of uh the servers in the stacks and everything uh, so that's all getting uh, put together. And obviously, as times evolved, it all uh, gets bigger, larger, etc., etc. But it's good to have a little glimpse of what it actually looks like. So we own everything. OK, we have our own products. We have our own leaders. Uh, we have our own genius founders as well. Our own buildings. We have our own data center. What else can we need or want? All of this hard work is definitely paying off. Uh, what is uh, the next game plan after the 22nd? Okay, all presentations of that founder's position will be stopped. And uh, also alongside your registration link for founders, that will be suspended. Whether this gets changed into a different format, we don't know at this stage. But from that date on the 22nd, it will be uh, suspended and also any literature material that is in your back office for that founder's position, that will also disappear. Uh, 
this is also uh, going to then take on a new direction okay we've already told you many times that as soon as that founders position has uh finished then we go into the next stage what is the next stage we are going to focus on products okay learning more about them use them the more and having a much better and general idea and overview of these products we're also then going to start selling these products and services ash alluded a little bit about which ones are going to be available okay and there's also going to be a lot of other new milestones uh, that we are going to hit along the next few days and coming weeks and he did reiterate that it is only going to be weeks days and weeks not months away so read between those lines guys uh, we are not very far off at all uh, with that one he also asked the question uh, is it better to have 1 million unique founders or 2 million with multiple accounts everybody agreed it is far better to have a million founders all with unique uh, positions uh, he said also said a bit of a warning for those founders that have bought multiple positions with the intention of selling them at a higher price he said this is a criminal act guys not allowed and if we do find out as a company that somebody is doing this or trying to do this not only will those accounts be terminated but also the person will be terminated from on passive it really is not worth that risk guys of losing your founders position it is a unique position to be partnering on passive as a founder and it is something that you shouldn't put in jeopardy just for the sake of earning a few pence it really is not worth it at all so on the 22nd of june we go into uh the lift force of o founders will take us to the new ecosystem then the ecosystem itself will take us to the next phase and all of the budgeting so once we have all of that in place then we will have a much better idea of the costings uh, how much stuff is going to cost us as founders and the company uh, going forward uh, so let this migration happen onto the data center let's move forward for the next uh, 14 days in fact for the uh, founders position uh, let all that happen and once that is closed I'm sure we are going to get a lot more information that Ash hasn't been able to give us uh, whilst this founders position is uh on uh, on at the moment uh remember as far as the company is concerned we only have two more official guest webinars left uh to facilitate the needs of people who are wanting to join uh we've got this week we've got next week okay and that will be about it i'm not sure on the very last day if we're going to have one or not we might be um we will have to discuss that with the other leaders but the time and uh clock is ticking so if you have anybody in mind uh please invite them now ash actually said this is not the time to bribe somebody to come into on passive as a founder they either see it as we have or they can wait and become a reseller or customer of the on passive products and services uh because it's going to be product time o founders will now focus on the products and sales uh okay so that is going to be the next part which we are going to be moving into we are going to make sure that we have uh enough products ready for the resale uh when the time comes that is what the company are working on in the background okay that's it for part one of the recap um i will do the recap for part two straight away and you'll be able to navigate and find that on my website and uh, the youtube channel that's it for now and i'll speak to you all very soon bye now